two blobs, and then underneath an upturned V. It looks almost like a frowning face. So this cultivar is called Grumpy. As one of the first plants to bloom at the beginning of the year, snowdrops or galanthus are one of the most instantly recognisable winter flowering plants. Let's dig deeper. I think my favourite species of snowdrop is the common snowdrop, Galanthus nivalis. There are 23 species of snowdrops. Lots of cultivars have been bred, so there are more than 500 different cultivars. So this one here is actually a cultivar. It's called Benton Magnet, and depending on the different markings, they can be given different names. This is another interesting cultivar. It's got green markings on the outer perianth segments as well as the inside this time. Uh, so I think this one's called Modern Art because of the markings on the outer perianth segments look a bit like brush strokes and they're all a little bit different. So snowdrops, they've all got white flowers and six perianth segments which are like the petals really. So the three on the outside are big and on the inside there are three that are a bit smaller. There generally are two leaves, sometimes three, and the flower is held up by a scape with a small pedicel, which is a little stalk that holds the flower, and it faces down, which probably protects the reproductive parts of the flower from the weather and other things that might damage them. Snowdrops are geophytes, which means they spend most of their life cycle underground, and as they grow, they start to photosynthesize, which gives them energy. The flowering stem, or scape then starts to emerge and the flower will open eventually. Snowdrops are pollinated by bees, which is good for the bees because there aren't so many flowers around at this time of year. Once the flower has been pollinated, they start to die back and the ovary starts to swell. The seeds inside will eventually be distributed by ants when they're fully mature. The seed has an oil-rich coating called an aleosome, which attracts the ants they take the seeds back to their nest and then consume the coating, leaving behind the seed, which can then grow and form a new population of snowdrops. Even though snowdrops are a common sight in the UK, they're not actually native to the UK. Snowdrops originate in the areas around southern eastern Europe. At the beginning of the 19th century, people from the UK would be travelling there and sometimes bringing them back, and that's when they began to become more well-known in the UK. The conditions in the UK deciduous woodlands are really suitable for snowdrops such as Galanthus nivalis, the common snowdrop, and this meant that they were able to naturalise. They like to have fairly rich soil, so maybe where leaves have rotted down. The flowers last around a month. They might start looking a bit tatty after that. There are some snowdrops that flower in autumn, but generally the best time to come if you want to see lots of them is from the end of December all through till March. The botanical name for snowdrops, Galanthus, is derived from the Greek words gala for milk and anthos flower. This is combined with nivalis in the common snowdrop, which means snow covered, which is because of how they usually grow around the time when there might be snow on the ground. Snowdrops are highly sought after by collectors. Some people are willing to spend up to £1,850 on a single bulb. So this means that their protection in the wild is even more important. Snowdrops are so collectible due to their huge variety in markings. So there are lots of cultivars. They've been bred to have lots of different markings which collectors really want to have. For example, one that's been bred to have a grumpy face. So it's quite fun to have these different markings and it's something that becomes collectible. So these ones, they have a much longer scape than a lot of the snowdrops. They're more like maybe 20 centimetres tall and the flowers, they have quite a large, very open flower. And it's not surprising that this one's called Colossus. The trade of snowdrops is carefully regulated to ensure that they're not over collected and this doesn't negatively impact their populations in the wild. Snowdrops are in the Amaryllidaceae family, so that includes alliums, it includes narcissus, so daffodils, and other plants which you've probably got at home. 
snowdrops are planted in the garden because generally they flower in the winter, which is a time when there aren't so many flowers around for people to see. So it's a great opportunity to have something interesting on display. Thank you for watching and keep an eye out for more on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this episode of Dig Deeper. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss an episode. If you'd like to learn more about the work that Q does, visit our website for more information.